Hey everybody, Stephanie Toom here with Don Sherman, VP of Product Marketing and Chief Technology Officer for Pegasystems. Hi, Don. Hey, Stephanie. How are you? I'm doing great. We are heading into Pega World, which is the big signature marketing event for Pega every year, virtual again this year. Let's talk a little bit about some of the things that your participants can expect at Pega World. Of course, yeah, we are super excited for the event. It is on May 4th, and uh, you can register for that at pega.com. Excellent, excellent. Well, digital transformation continues to be one of the biggest topics in the technology and customer experience world. It's always been a very complex topic, but now it seems like the complexity has just completely multiplied. So how should businesses and governments be getting their arms around this concept now? And have the table stakes changed? It's not necessarily that the complexity has multiplied, but the urgency has multiplied. I think the thing coming out of COVID is that organizations have realized that a lot of the, the changes and transformation that they thought were future state need to actually happen right now. Um, but I also think that organizations have realized that when you put a little bit of urgency behind it, you, you can actually force some of the change. You can adopt an agile mindset. You can begin to tackle problems. And one of the things that we're gonna talk about at Peg World is how do you break digital transformation down into meaningful chunks? We often think of like a micro journey, a, a chunk of a larger customer or employee journey that's tied to a meaningful outcome. And if you break it down in a micro journey, like we've done with clients, for example, like the Bavarian government, who in response to COVID, used Pega to roll out a small business lending application in five days, right? When you break it down that small, you can both deliver some immediate benefits to your employees, to your customers, to your stakeholders, but at the same time, you're setting the foundation by embracing low code, by embracing design thinking, by embracing agile, that kind of build the skills and technology foundation to now perpetuate that transformation across your business. I love your word embrace that you use because that's really about people doing something. It's about more than just tech. And when mm -hmm. you use that word to me, it strikes me as this is about human beings. And that leads me into a question that I wanna ask you about building readiness to be able to embrace that. Because one of the things that PEGA is known for is not just about the tech, it's about how you help your clients prepare their people for change. And one yep. of those things has to do with readiness. So can you talk to me a little bit about change readiness with respect to digital transformation? Yeah, I think, I think there are two things that organizations need to think about. One, they do need to think about the right architecture. Like you need to have the architecture for that digital platform in place. And, and we often talk about starting from the center out, starting at the outcomes that matter to the customer rather than obsessing about like, are we gonna build a chatbot? Well, let, let's figure out first what the problems we're gonna to try to solve and then connect that out into both our channels as well as our, our backend systems. But the other piece, the digital skills piece is equally important. And that's why we really try to enforce, you know, working with our clients to embrace the right approach. And that right approach has got to one, be joint ownership between business and IT. Yet we've got to knock down those silos. And the reason why you know, technologies like low code I think are so powerful is because they provide a bridge. They provide a Rosetta Stone for IT and business to start speaking the same language. And the other thing we've got to do is, is build this appetite. You know, Our mantra is build for change. And I think part of an adopting a, a um, embracing the tenets of agility means that you are building constantly for change and you're throwing out some of those preconceived notions of we got to shove everything into phase one of our project because that's where we're going to get it done as opposed to no 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 we're going to get something useful out into the world quickly and we're going to learn from that and build on that and grow and that iterative mindset is something that that I think is a, more than a technology it's an approach that that it, people have to be willing to embrace what is the number one contribution you see customer experience professionals being able to make to their organization's digital transformation work I think one is they bring that mindset that at the end of the day this is all about the customer right you know and most of digital transformation the most impactful things, you know, we talk a lot about process efficiencies and all of that, but at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is make experiences simpler, 
more immediate, more personalized for our customer. So first and foremost, customer experience professionals bring that mindset. And they're able to step into exercises like design thinking and be the voice of the customer in that conversation so that we're not building business processes around our existing systems. We're building them around the outcomes that a customer wants, right? And how do we get the customer to their fastest? But I also think for that to work, it's incumbent on customer experience professionals to also understand the technology that they can apply. How can I think about applying decisioning and AI technology to be personalized at every interaction? How can I apply automation technology to make it easier for my customer service agents so they can provide a better experience to my customer? So I think that, the, that being able to sit in that bridge of both really understanding the customer, but having an opinion about how I can use technology to positively impact that is a role that I that customer experience professionals have to play inside their orgs. Excellent. Can you think of a story of the past year from among your clientele that you want to share that is sort of a beacon for the good that can be done based on what's happened over the past year? Yeah, I mean, we worked with um, one of the larger healthcare providers in the U.S., and we've been working with them sort of throughout COVID initially to quickly put in place processes to help validate and check on their employees, make sure that everybody was okay, make sure that people were getting tested. Again, responding fast to needs. We then worked with them using the same approach to drop in processes around making vaccines and other things available to their member base, to their client base, right? And that ability to pivot and move fast and respond to what are very rapidly changing needs and expectations in the marketplace, but in a way that is ultimately helping you know, all of us come through this pretty disruptive time um, and feel safe and see a path out, right? I think that's something that we're really you know, excited and proud that we got to work with. Don Sherman, thank you so very much. Everybody, don't forget Pega World is coming up May 4th. You can register at pega.com. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Stephanie. It was a pleasure.